Here it is. Frankenstein's monster. Will it work? <laughs> I, I don't know, but this is the 365 XL slide on the macro grip. What's going on guys? Jeremy here with Gun Mag Warehouse. Today we've got the P365 Macro. And I know you've been waiting. You've been waiting and yearning for an expert and somebody who takes themselves really serious to do a review on this. But you're just going to have to keep waiting, keep looking, because that's not what's going to happen here. Now I was interested in this firearm obviously because I carry a P365 XL on a regular basis and uh, while I do like it, I'm not necessarily completely sold on it and I'll never not try anything else. So give this a try and see how it works. Now one of the things that I like about the XL that I don't like about just the standard P365 is this grip module. It's bigger than the standard P365 and that makes a huge difference for me. Now with the 15 round extended magazine, I get all my fleshy bits on something. Without it, with the standard 12, you get a little bit of overhang. You get a little bit of that meat sack hanging off down there at the bottom. Now I have average hands. I don't have big crazy ginormo hands. So if you've got, you know, plenty to contend with and this is gonna feel small for you as well. But one of the things that I really like about the macro is that grip is even bigger. It's bigger, longer. You can see down here at the bottom, you don't need any crazy magazine to extend the grip for you. Now, it will stick out the bottom just a tiny bit down here at the bottom. You can see that, but otherwise, it's not going to be a big chungus base plate like the other one. So, let's talk about the differences here. Slides, basically the same. Obviously, we've got a little difference here with that port up at the top, but width-wise, length-wise, they are essentially identical. Uh, the, the plate for the optic is pushed back further on the P365XL, and it's pushed forward further on the new macro. So, real quick, 1913 full-size rail down here at the bottom. 365XL does not have that ported barrel? No. Ported slide. That ported slide has a little bit shorter of a barrel because of that in order to get that gas through them holes, if you feel me. But uh, it gets real hot real quick. Two mags and boy, oh boy, you will merge with the end of this barrel. <sighs> Pretty cool. Aye! <laughs> also, keep that in mind. Stay away from it if you can. A little bit of texture on the mag release. Cool, but nothing to write home about. Larger. Uh, grip module, that's, that's the biggest part for me. It also comes with two other back straps, so three total back straps, small, medium, large, depending on just how big a boy you are. Beaver lovers, you're gonna love this. We got a nice beaver tail right here at the back and obviously ready for a red dot. So we threw on the Holosun HS507KX2 because of course we did, because we got them in stock. So we might as well run it see how it does, and so far it's performed very nicely. Now it doesn't co-witness with the irons, but that's okay. Tritium iron sights with the nice uh, green glow up at the front, and then the serrated back at the, at, at the back. Great. So the trigger is that flat face trigger, just like the 365 XL. It isn't amazing, but it's pretty good. Uh, there's a wall right there. Now watch this, this is a part I don't super like. Okay, there's a break, almost 90 degrees. Let's get the reset there. The reset is fantastic. Oh, there it is, right back to the wall. Good to go, audible click. But that little creep, that creep. A little more creep, look at that, that's a lot of creep. Boom, there it goes. So, bear that in mind. Uh, maybe they'll do the, you know how they did the Spectre, they came out and they had all this extra gold anodized type of stuff. Maybe they'll do that with the trigger and it'll be a little bit more crispy. Otherwise, it's fine. You know, just pull the trigger hard every time at approximately five pounds of strength. If the reset will be quick and easy. You'll be good to go. Now let's talk recoil. Recoil, we'll put a little side-by-side -side comparison. You can be the judge here. In my illustrious one year of like regular shooting experience, I'll tell you, I can't super tell a difference between this ported uh, slide, not ported barrel, and the regular 365. Now, I have a perceived recoil reduction, but I feel like that's because I can get more meat on this than I can on the standard 365 uh, XL, I should say, especially the P365, because the grip module is like 
even a half inch shorter than that. So, uh, significant difference there. But this is just a first look, you know. Am I going to be able to put a couple thousand rounds down this and, and tell you if it's going to last you a lifetime? No. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we don't have that kind of time, but I'm sure there's somebody else out there who will do it. I'm sure there's plenty of people who want something like this. I mean, it's pretty slick. I like the idea of a ported barrel. I'm not so sure how much I like the idea, I mean, sorry, ported slide, of a ported slide on a concealed carry weapon. If I was in, in a tight situation, if I was shooting from, you know, from retention, if I was in a vehicle and a bunch of gas up in my face, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about something that, probably isn't a factor maybe you think it is but it just seems seems like it doesn't do enough to justify the need for it or the consequence of it in my uh, inexperienced opinion let's talk mags are the mags interchangeable no no they're not you can tell this one's a little straight and that one's a little crooked a little bit more like a Glock mag almost with the angle of the dangle, you know. But the grips themselves seem to look like they're about the same angle. So what's going on there? Well, the internal geometry is the crazy secret here and probably what allows 17 rounds instead of 15 with roughly-ish the same length. See those? If you angle it properly, they're basically the same length. So I'll tell you the truth. Here's what I really want to do. I want to take this grip module, take this slide off, barrel off, and swap it with my 365 XL. They're the same length. Does it work? I'm going to try it. Here it is. Frankenstein's monster. Will it work? <laughs> I, I don't know, but this is the 365 XL slide on the macro grip. You want to try it? I'm going to try it. It just worries me that every time I mention trying to do it, everybody goes, Ooh, probably wouldn't do that. Uh, but I mean, I want the larger grip module, dog. I want to be able to, I want to be able to use this thing with the full size slide without the ported whatever and a longer barrel. Better ballistics, huh? Somebody's got to try it, okay? And if it explodes, which it shouldn't and probably won't, then at least it was me and not you. I mean, if it was a bad idea, you'd tell me, right? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I shouldn't have said that for sure. Yes, you can take off your P365XL slide and barrel and run it on this grip module. Now, will SIG ever sell this grip module? Maybe. I, I don't know. They didn't send me this. They didn't say, hey, bud, uh, we like you a lot. Review this. No, we had to purchase this, so um, I'm sure that if they did, they would have been like, yeah, probably don't do that. But you certainly can. It's totally possible. Now, the other way around, can you put this on this? Don't know. Don't care. Don't want to try. Probably, though. Probably works. But if they sold this thing right here, this is what I want. This is what I want all day long. I don't need any port. You leave the port, give it to somebody else. But uh, ultimately, if I were to buy the macro, I'm probably just gonna whoink, yoink that top off, slap my 365XL slide on this bad boy. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Nothing too crazy. Uh, just wanted to try this for myself and see if it was actually possible. I'm glad I got to see that it was. Um, but. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment uh, if you want to see specific guns or anything like that. You want to see us do other stuff. We're going to be traveling, doing a bunch of cool stuff, doing a bunch of training. Uh, I'm not training anybody. I'm going to get trained because uh, uh, that's at the stage that I'm at in this uh, gun journey. So if you want to join me on that, hit like, hit subscribe. Hang out with us as we go along all across the country talking to some of the coolest people on the face of the planet as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for shopping with Gun Mag Warehouse. Stay free, guys.